Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. I've got a quick one today for you. We're going to finish off our look at Don't Stop Me Now uh, by Queen. We look at uh, Brian May's guitar solo. So it's a pretty short one. So let's take a look at it here. We're in standard tuning. Here's the first phrase. <laughs> So that's a bend at the 12th fret on the G. Release, pull off the 10th, then do another bend. Clear this. Pick it, release, pull off the 10, and then we do, we're gonna do a hammer on. 10 to 12, 10, 9, 10. Next phrase. So that's 11 on the B, then 10, then we start doing some staccato playing, kind of kill it as soon as you play it, 12 on the G, then 10 on the G, so hear this. Then back to the bend at the 12, and then don't release the bend. You want to kill the tone first, and then bring it back down, and then pick it again. So we have this. So you don't hear it come back down. The last one you do, and it goes over to the D string, 10th fret. All right, next phrase. So that's the bend of the 11th fret on the B string. Then pick it, release it. Pull off to 10, and then back to the bend again on the 11th fret. We have this. Pick it, release, uh, pull off to 10, so we have this. Then we have 11, 10, to 12 on the G, back to 10 on the B. All right, and then we go back down, a little staccato run. That's just 11, 10 on the B, 12, 10 on the G. We're back to doing that, what we were doing earlier with the G string bend, so that you can't hear it come back down. So last one, and you pull off to 10. And then, and that's just hammering 10 to 12 on the, on the A, pull back up to 10, down to eight, then back to 10. And you can end the main solo with this. That's a hammer, 10 to 12, pull back off to 10 on the G, over to 12 on the D, and then back to that 10. So we have this. Then he slightly just stops, pauses very briefly, and does it again. So he basically does it three times. Hold a little longer on that 10th fret on the G string the last time. Then there's a slight pause and we have a bend at the 13th fret on the B string. So that's just a uh, whole side bend. Then pick it a couple times as it's bent. And then a little um, few seconds later we have this to end it. Which is a bend at the 20th fret on the B. Whole side bend while you're holding the 20th fret on the high E as well. A little vibrato ball in there too. All right, so that's about it for that solo. It's fun. It's very melodic. It's a uh, it's a cool one to play. Hope you enjoyed it.